things, friends, we're talking about that which is of first importance. What is most important? And we've seen from Scripture that it is the gospel of Jesus Christ that is most important. It's the most important thing in Scripture and in our lives. And so I want to ask you a question today, and that is, where does all of our problems come from? Where does everything bad that has ever happened in this world or in your life come from? And I hope you can say that when Satan tempted Adam and Eve, that their response, which was called sin, is where all problems in life come from. Satan coming into this world wreaked havoc, brought rebellion and sin, which brought death, sickness and sorrow and all death came from Satan's activity in this world. How then do we in our lives overcome Satan's activity? And what we have to understand is that Jesus Christ came into this world to destroy the work of Satan. And you can see in the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 it says, and having disarmed the powers and authorities. Now what is he talking about here? He's talking about Satan, the God of this world. Jesus disarmed him. Well, how did he do that? Well, look what it says. He made a public spectacle of them, these powers and authorities, triumphing over them by the cross. At the cross, Jesus defeated Satan. He disarmed Satan, meaning Satan has no ammunition with which to accuse you as a believer. Can he come to, to God and say, hey, you, whatever your name is, <laughs> sinned in this way? Well, no, because Jesus took that sin away from you, made it his own, died under the penalty of it, so it's not yours anymore. Satan has no ammunition with which to accuse you anymore. Because at the cross, Jesus made your sin his own. And therefore, that sin doesn't belong to you anymore. If you're a believer in Jesus, if you've turned away from sin and put faith in Jesus' finished work, Satan cannot accuse you anymore. And so, in essence, Jesus undid everything Satan did. Now, we've looked at some illustrations of what is most important. We've looked at Genesis chapter 1. We've looked at Genesis chapter 2. And now I want to just finish this little section we're talking about, what is most important, by looking at Genesis chapter 3. And after Adam and Eve sinned, uh, and received their, their punishment. In essence, they were kicked out of the garden. Eve would have pain in childbirth. Adam would work hard by the sweat of his brow and all these things. God is going to deal with Satan. And he says in verse 15 to Satan, I will put enmity, hostility, enmity between you and the woman between your offspring and her offspring. He, the offspring of Eve, would crush your head and you will strike his heel. What does that mean? Well, first of all, it's the offspring of Eve. It's the seed of Eve. Wait a minute, a woman doesn't have a seed. That's the man. What would, would this seed be somehow supernaturally born of a woman? <laughs> And we know that Jesus was born of a virgin, the offspring, the seed of a woman. And what would happen? It says that he will crush your head. Well, there's a death blow. But in doing so, he, you would strike his heel. There would be a flesh wound. Jesus himself, when he went to the cross of Calvary, received the bite of the serpent. And through his death, he destroyed the work of Satan. He, he disarmed Satan. Satan has nothing with which 
he can accuse you of. Satan was destroyed, disarmed, defeated at the cross of Calvary. What does that mean? It means everything that was wrong that came into this world and everything that is wrong now is because of Satan's activity. Jesus came and destroyed, defeated, disarmed Satan at the cross for you on your behalf. As the seed of the woman, he came, went up on that hill of Calvary, and he went up on that hill, and he took those nails in his hands and his feet, and he wore that crown of thorns, that curse that came into the world because of sin. Jesus took it on himself for you to defeat and destroy and disarm Satan so that now you yourself have victory over Satan. Why? Because Satan's head is crushed. Now Jesus experienced a lot of pain to do that for you. He endured death itself and he tasted death for every man and he defeated Satan on the cross. What's most important? The work of Jesus at Calvary. Not only did he take your sin away, but he defeated your worst enemy. That's the glories of Calvary. And I hope that you enjoy it. Let me ask you this question. Have you been trying to defeat Satan on your own? And do you now see that Jesus came to do it for you? And you now win by putting faith in his finished work, by believing, by believing this message I'm giving to you today. So the question I have for you is, do you see that maybe in the past you've tried to learn all you can and to ex exert your own strength to defeat Satan? And do you now see that Jesus did that on the cross? Put your comments below. I'd love to read them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the subscribe button below. If you'd like notifications of future videos, click the bell icon and select all.